You have now arrived at the Jewelry Gallery at ACM. This gallery is supported by Mr. Edmund Chin in honor of his parents, Mary and Philbert Chin. Located on level 3, it is one of the few permanent museum galleries in the world to showcase island Southeast Asian jewelry. The audio tour for this gallery consists of two clips and this clip is five minutes long. Clip 1. Amulet Necklace One of the oldest art forms, adornments are part of the human experience. From life to death, jewelry is present at every stage and shares a special relationship with its wearer. Wearing jewelry can enhance beauty or signal rank and status. Sometimes it is even believed to be protective and able to ward off evil or disease. The use of precious metals and rare objects from nature make the finest jewelry especially dazzling and highly valued. Let's look at a striking necklace displayed in a showcase in the right-hand corner of the jewelry gallery. It's on the wall at the back of its glass case and can be viewed in its full glory. Measuring well over a meter, 130 centimeters and nearly one-third that in width, it is far too large to have been worn by a person. Rather, it would have been draped around the neck of a horse during a wedding procession or perhaps hung on the wall of an aristocrat's house. Crafted in Uzbekistan during the 19th century, this large necklace is made from twisted silver wire and decorated plates of gilded silver which are studded with precious gemstones, turquoise, coral and agate. It has a large central pendant that is shaped like a wavy edged oval and topped by a crown-like decoration. Oval red agate stones are attached to the surface in the middle and at the center of the crown. They are each bordered by a row of tiny, round, inset turquoise stones. The edges of the oval pendant are complex. Each side resembles a cluster of crested birds huddled close together, seen in profile. Three heads emerge from the oval shape facing left, three face to the right. Small inset orange-red gemstones form each bird's visible eye. The pendant itself is an amulet case. There is a hinge at the top of the oval portion of the pendant which opens to reveal a large shallow compartment where amulets would have been placed. Amulets are objects believed to protect the owner from evil, danger, illnesses, and other unseen forces. Examples of amulets include bits of natural substances, objects blessed by religious figures, or written inscriptions. For instance, verses from sacred texts. In the case of this necklace, an amulet might have been placed to protect the horse and its rider from harm. Eleven decorative chains are attached to the bottom of the pendant amulet box. They hang down dramatically, as long again as the height of the pendant, adding to the overall splendor of this enormous necklace. The main pendant itself is suspended from two chains, each with four large links. The links are rectangular in shape, their surfaces decorated with filigree, inlay and granulation and with birds' heads at the corners. Imagine a horse sporting this necklace and trotting towards you. While jewelry is often seen as a form of wealth and outward adornment, this necklace reminds us that it can also have more profound meanings. 
In this case, the amulet necklace expresses the basic human desire for protection, security and blessing.